minutes. Cade McDonald, 22 from Geelong, but then lived for most of my teen years down at Torquay, so down near the coast. Being a Dees fan was, yeah, my life. I would go to most games, I would drag dad to games. He would say, you know, if it's a Sunday night, 4.40, it's too late, you've got school, and I would disobey his rules and catch a train at, at 16 by myself to go. So, uh, yeah, it means everything. I absolutely love the club, and um, yeah, it, it, it makes my week going to watch them. Well, probably since I was 16, I, I sort of looked at YouTube and then YouTube and thought, oh, that's cool. I did a radio course a couple of years ago and was hell-bent on um, getting into the, the radio industry. Had a demo, started applying regionally and was like, oh, you know, this is cool, I'll get a, a radio job. And, and from, from there, I sort of made my way up. But it didn't quite work out at that stage. One of my lecturers, Danny O'Grady, hit me up and he goes, well, in this day and age, you've got no excuse. Start a YouTube, so I just started putting out some very subpar videos. And this is only like two years ago. G'day guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a part-time passion at the moment, but it's something I still want to really push and, and grow as much as I can. I'm the kid at the back of classroom who's a bit silly. Footy slang, footy slang, footy slang, footy slang, footy slang, footy slang, footy slang. I kicked a goal, goal, and they called it a sausage roll. What? Yeah, so I knew we were going to take, um, you know, some international people to the footy, so I ended up finding out there was a couple of Brazilian girls, but um, apart from that, I didn't really have any expectations on the day, so. A very exciting vlog. Um, I have gone onto the website Sports Host, where you can host international uh, visitors and take them to a game of football, so today I'm meeting up with a couple of Brazilian girls who I will introduce you to later on, and I'll take them and convert them to be these fans. I didn't really think about too much of the day because if I think too much I probably wouldn't do it so if I was thinking about it I'd probably be like oh what if they don't what if they're not nice what if they don't want to be on camera what if they don't speak English like I, I would probably talk myself out of doing it so I just didn't think about it I'm like get the fed square let's smash it they were pumped they were up for it they were keen to support the D's which was handy I sort of said, you know, I'll do a little bit of YouTube. Um, I will be filming today, I hope that's okay. And they sort of like, oh yeah, rolling their eyes. And then I think to the walk to the J, a couple of kids came up and said, g'day. And from then they're like, oh, you're a celebrity, celebrity. They didn't stop that all night, so I sort of liked it. <laughs> scarf mode. So we're wearing we the day scarf. We're now officially yeah. demon yeah. fans. Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yes, really excited. They were sort of asking what They were learning things, but also, I was also learning a lot of stuff like them, um, which was a good experience. I've never travelled or never really got out of the bubble, which is Victoria, so to meet someone from the other side of the world, and just, yeah, get to learn a bit about them. We had a ball, um, a couple of drinks, a couple of bag of chips, and, you know, a, a new experience for them, so for me, normally I'd probably walk away from that game about the car, that's a bit disappointing, but I walked away and I'm like, I've had a great day, um, and it seemed like they were having fun, so I'm pretty confident they had a good time. Did you go to a D's game again? Of course, of course. We are Melbourne supporters now. That's a success, that's yeah. a success. Let's go Melbourne! 